Chapter 4 United Nations In the last chapter, we tried to understand the nature of India's defense system. In this chapter, we shall acquaint ourselves with the United Nations, an international organization working for world peace. In the first half of the 20th century, two world wars took place. Taking into account the heavy toll of human life and money that the world wars took, all the countries in the world felt the need to take some concrete steps to establish peace. After the First World War, the League of Nations had been created to establish peace, but it was not very successful in its objective. The destruction of the Second World War, however, strengthened the idea that such wars must be avoided and therefore the United Nations, an international organization was established on 24th October 1945. This day is celebrated as the United Nations Day. The responsibility of maintaining world peace is not with one or two nations alone. Rather, all nations must be aware of this responsibility. The United Nations is an organization which fosters this feeling. All the nations that accept the charter of the United Nations can become its member. This international organization is based on certain important principles. It is an organization of sovereign nations. It is a platform for resolving international issues through peaceful means. All the member nations enjoy an equal status in the organization. All nations are considered equal without any discrimination on the basis of the extent of development or prosperity. It is binding on all member countries to resolve their international issues only through peaceful means. Objectives The United Nations has certain specific objectives. These are as follows. 1 to enhance international peace and security, 2. to develop friendly relations among nations, 3. to resolve all international issues through peaceful means, 4. to protect and promote human rights and freedom. The United Nations coordinates the activities of different countries in order to achieve the above objectives. United Nations the six main organs of the United Nations are as follows. 1. General Assembly 2. Security Council 3. Economic and Social Council 4. International Court of Justice 5. Trusteeship Council 6. Secretariat The headquarters of the United Nations are in New York, where the main offices of all the organs except the International Court of Justice, are also located. The office of the International Court is in The Hague in Netherlands. General Assembly Structure The representatives of all member countries of the United Nations are the members of the General Assembly. Till 2011, the strength of the member countries in the General Assembly was 193. While voting in the General Assembly, every nation has the right to cast only one vote. Srimati Vijayalakshmi Pandit was the chairperson of the United Nations General Assembly in 1953. She was the first Indian lady to hold this post. Functions the General Assembly has the right to pass resolutions regarding issues of international peace and security. It discusses reports received from the Security Council and passes the UN budget. It also elects the non-permanent members of the Security Council and the members of the Economic and Social Council. During its sessions, all the member nations discuss many important international issues. Therefore, the UN General Assembly is considered to be an important forum for discussion on international questions.
Security Council Structure The Security Council has a total of 15 members. The five permanent members of the Security Council are United States of America, France, United Kingdom, Russia and China. The remaining 10 non-permanent member countries are elected from among the other member countries for a period of two years. The five permanent members of the Security Council have the veto power. Veto power means the right to reject any decision. Any decision of the Council must have the concurrence of all five permanent members. Opposition by any one of these members leads to a rejection of the decision. Functions The Security Council performs functions like maintaining international peace and security, probing into international disputes, suggesting ways to resolve international issues, taking military or economic action against aggressor countries if necessary, etc. Economic and Social Council Structure This council was established to coordinate the social and economic functions of the UN. It has a total number of 54 members. Functions This council performs functions like initiating discussions on the global level on questions of poverty, social and economic inequalities, apartheid, etc. to create awareness about human rights and freedom, to undertake projects about social, cultural and educational issues, etc. The International Court of Justice Structure there are a total number of 15 judges in the International Court. These judges are chosen by the Security Council and the General Assembly. Functions The Court performs the functions of adjudicating the disputes between two or more member countries, providing the right interpretation to international laws, norms and traditions, etc. The Trusteeship Council After the Second World War, the Trusteeship Council took the responsibility of administering territories which were incapable of governing themselves. The purpose of this council was to make the people capable of running their own government. The UN helped such territories till 1994. Once the Palau Islands in the Pacific Ocean became independent, the Trusteeship Council was dissolved on 1st November 1994. Secretariat Structure The Secretariat has been created to look after the administrative functions of the UN. The Chief of the Secretariat is called the UN Secretary General. The General Assembly and Security Council collectively select the Secretary General for a period of five years. Functions The Secretariat organizes meetings of the General Assembly and Security Council, holds international conferences on global issues, studies important issues like protection of human rights and disarmament, and maintains official records of the UN. It carries out these and other functions under the guidance of the Secretary General. Apart from these six major organs, many affiliated organizations of the UN are working in the areas of social and economic development. Given below is a brief introduction to some of the organizations. International Labour Organization, Geneva. Its main function is to try to improve the condition of workers, ensure that they get due wages and their health is protected, etc. Food and Agricultural Organization, Rome. Its main function is to solve the problem of poverty, malnutrition and starvation in the world and guide the process of enhancing food grain production. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, Paris The main function of this organization is to promote interaction between different countries in the fields of education, science and culture. It also tries to reduce illiteracy in the world. World Health Organization, Geneva This organization is engaged in the task of improving the physical, 
and mental health of the people in the world, carry out immunization campaigns to control epidemics, etc. International Atomic Energy Agency, Vienna This agency has been given the important task of keeping a check on the use of civil nuclear energy that it will not be used for military purposes and visiting the nuclear sites in different countries to carry out inspection for the same.